Here we go, the coalition turn now for 3 p.m. Uh, French are moving up the road towards Quatre Bras. Successfully <coughs> took the uh, chateau here and eliminated uh, Netherlands uh, units. Uh, actually two at this point. Just to sum up here, we see um, this brigade and this brigade. This brigade on first turn, they surrounded it and got a good result. And then this brigade was defending in the chateau. They were able to surround it, get the <coughs> odds up to three to one, and then through shock combat, able to take the chateau. Um, so here's the position now. So now it's time to move into the um, coalition turn. And going to place, they've got reinforcements here, uh, one cavalry brigade, looks like Netherlands. Uh, I'm not going to use the vedettes this game, so I'm going to leave them there. So let's look at, uh, first we have to look at, uh, I just want to confirm that this uh, vedette comes in at S1101 per the setup chart. <coughs> so that would put it up here. So I'm going to place that there just to get it out of the way. Come back to it later. I uh, don't need this anymore. You do see coming up more reinforcements for the coalition, more reinforcements, uh, more. These are all coming from, I'll have to look at the other one, but it looks like S1101. So, oh, right here too. Okay, so let's see here. We got to do a little clarification here. Here's the actual setup card for Quattro Broad. Diverges a bit from here. So S1101, 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 S1101. Yep, looks like everything is coming in at here, coming down the road from here. All right, so we'll move this off to the side. Don't need this anymore. So all the reinforcements come streaming from here, which means this flank may be their weaker one once these come streaming in. All right, so the French are primed here to move on Quatre Bras, potentially a full blown frontal assault. Uh, that's where the victory points are. Every turn we hold it is one less victory point for the French. So our goal will be to hold it while not being surrounded and destroyed, hopefully. So let's look at the sequence of play. Weather segment does not apply this turn. Uh, command phase, yeah, we're not doing supply. We're not doing recovery. Um, we can't do reorganization because first the units that were destroyed, first they have to be recovered during a weather turn. So we're in the command segment. And last turn, Brunswick was out of command. But let's sort out command down here first. Um, there is one there, Picton, 5th uh, British. He was the one uh, officer here. Let's see what we got here. Officers in combat units. So Picton will be activated by Wellington. And his units are all then activated. Um, Prince William can activate the remaining artillery. Uh, it looks like battalion. The other two units have been destroyed. Uh, if necessary, Wellington, this could be his extra here. So all of these units are in command. I'm assuming a reinforcement will <coughs> begin the game in command. So the only one we have to roll for is Brunswick here, who, similar to the French Kellerman, uh, decided to take the first hour off. So rolling for him, he's got better initiative than his units. So we'll go ahead and roll for him. He's got to roll a one, two, three, or four to be in command. And the survey says four, just barely, but everybody's in command. Okay, it's good for the 
coalition here. So we move into the movement segment. Everybody can move. So it's a matter of just figuring out. First one we'll move him is one, two, three, four, six, seven. He can get to here. Okay. Now, doing a little analysis here, we need to reinforce Quattro Bra and yet protect the flanks so they don't get behind us um, and then prevent us from retreating. Because at some point the French will take it and we don't want to lose all our forces in some kind of last stand defense. So the first issue is this flank where our reinforcements are coming. Um, if we look here, well the cavalry is not going anywhere because each of these costs 4 MP. Let me pull up the train effects chart. Uh, that's for combat. There it is for movement. So we see here woods hex, cavalry and horse 4, infantry and artillery 2. So unless they're on this road down here, I don't think they're going to outflank us, even if this guy circled back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So this flank isn't really threatened yet. This flank is an entirely different matter. There's a heavy cav sitting right here. One who could then go one, two, three, four, five, six. Who knows? Um, one, two, one, two. Could at least get here, and with a unit here, that would surround Quattro Bras. So we need to screen this flank. Um, looking here. Uh, let's see, we can move him first. One, two, three, four. Okay, next turn he'll be on the front. This one has more speed. One, two, three, four, five. Now I did some analysis. This is probably the best we're going to do right here. If he's there, one, two, three, four. This, this guy's on a goose chase to come around. Um, but I could be wrong. So this guy will do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that should prevent Wellington from being surrounded. I think I move five, two, three, four, five, six. Well, he could get back here, and that's but that still protects the lines here, and we've got him to respond. All right, so that looks good. Um, Brunswick needs to move up. He'll just stay here. Now he's within command range of Wellington, and his units are in command range of him. So his group is in good shape. Now we need to look at this. Um, artillery is pretty ineffective in the woods. If we look at the combat table here. Woods, uh, cavalry, half strength, no bombardment from. So what we're probably going to need to do is do a little shuffling here. Um, probably going to pull the 5-4 over here and concentrate with the uh, Netherlands um, caval um, artillery. So it's effective. We can probably use it for bombardment this turn. And then this guy... Uh, four, four, two, four. I mean, nobody can get around. Uh, so should we even station somebody here? That's an interesting question. Um, he'll be in the woods. AR to shock, etc. If I don't put him there, uh, that'll free him up, right? That'll freeze him here. And each one of these is four, so he can't go very far. And then this three, four, two, four. So they could come around and attack if there's a unit here. Wow. All right, well, let's check the stacking rules first. Let's see, I want to fit two infantry and two artillery. I should be okay. That shouldn't be a problem. So he's going to move here. 
I'm going to move Wellington off to the side for now and this guy off to the side. And I think by stacking that this guy should be able to move over here too. So that now he becomes effective. And Picton's going to go here too. So basically two infantry and two artillery. Let's see what the combat tables say here. I'm looking here off board. Oh, they should be here. Hold on. Effects. Events. There we go. Two combat units of any type. Stacking with leader. Five combat units, two of which may be infantry, or three if all the same division. Well, we've got two infantry. We can go to five, and we're good, and leaders don't count. So this is uh, proper stacking. We can do Picton, and we will do Wellington here. Now, the question becomes, do we want to expose... I mean, Best can move up here and protect this flank, but then potentially it's exposing him to a... Actually, these guys can come all the way around and attack him, and then close in on the flank here, and they could trap Wellington. I'm tempted not to... One, two, three, four. Okay, that freezes them. He may be attacked, but it prevents them. Like, if I go here and then they advance after combat, um, we're in serious straits. So that position may not be the best. So uh, if we don't move them at all, these will move here. This gives them, see, by putting them here, this gives them an easy attack. And then maybe they just bombard here, and then they're already surrounding Quatre Bras. So on second thought, it looks like this Woods Hex is the way to go. Which he can do. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. So, oh, and Prince Williams. What will we do with Prince Williams? Actually, I'm going to pull him back to here. Okay. So, this is my idea of defense here. Uh, no adjacent combats. I'm going to remove the move markers. So we have weak flank screens. They're more just road bumps, speed bumps, whatever. But we're just buying time. If Quattro Bra can hold on, these guys are coming in. We're going to have a whole bunch of reinforcements, hopefully, streaming down this road. So for nay, time is of the essence. All right. Let's look at the sequence of play again. Um, done movement. Now, this is where I have to sort this out. Um, looks like a non-phasing player executes bombardment. Marmot snakes may be reduced by counter-battery fire. So, in theory, the French do have um, artillery, artillery, and then these fall back to three hexes. So let's look at rule 13. All right, the first issue is line of sight, which I'm trying to figure out here. If I understand it, um, first off, this unit back here can't fire because he'd be firing through friendlies, and that's not allowed. Uh, if we hide the units... My guess is that this unit can't fire here because it is blocked multiple places here. But in theory, since Quattro Bra is right here on the crest, you can fire both of these hexes, and these hexes can counter battery back. So these two are the only ones, French units, that can fire. But there's another problem. Um, and that we've got in these hexes one artillery unit, one artillery. So they got two. But the French are loaded, I mean, the uh, coalition has their own artillery units there, four. So counter battery fire, 13.5. Pull that across. 
effect on bombardment strength is reduced by one half the strength of any artillery in the target hacks rounding down. Apply any CBF reduction before modifying the bombardment due to weather, range, or terrain. Well, we're at range two, but they've got two, they've got four, half of four is two, and reduce two by two. Um, there you go. No counter battery fire. So then we go to uh, no reaction fire, attack declaration, well there isn't any, bombardment. So we're going to do the bombardment phase. And these four will fire on 2008 again. Okay, so four bombardment factors. Let's look at the table for that. Um, there. Bombardment strength four. Uh, are there any modifiers? Three hex range, no. Target in town hex, no. Target in marsh, no. Heat and rain, thunderstorm, no. Mud, no. Artillery reaction fire strength. Reduced by one half strength of the artillery in the target. Yeah, we did that. That stopped the um, French reaction fire. So I don't see any modifiers for the combat. It is a straight four. So let's go ahead and go ahead and roll the die. So 1d6 and there's a two-thirds chance we'll get some kind of result here. So the bombardment four. I think that's what I rolled. Make this a little bigger. Yep, four. So a four on four is DR, Defender Retreat. On successful, may convert to one R instead of DR. Well, that's really not necessary. I think they will retreat. Let's hide the pieces and see what their options are. Here, or, well, they have to retreat away. So, um, if they retreat here, they can quickly come here. Back on the road, or they can cross the stream again. Uh, super stack here, no. I. Well, let's see. Let's see what the stacking limit would be. Not too much infantry, so these units retreat back here. Okay, so yeah, that's the retreat. They can't retreat up. Well, they can't retreat up here. There's a Zog. So there we go. So let's look at the sequence of play. I think we're done here. Yep, combat phase, the game turn marker is moved on the next phase on the turn track. So that is the end of the turn. I'll move all move markers. Uh, this is where we're at. Now, if he moved here, one, two, no, he still can't go anywhere through the woods. So this is a solid screening position here. I'm more concerned about this guy. He's not very strong. Uh, and these guys could get around him. I don't know. Four. Sure, they can attack the flag, f um, flank here, but I think the main battle's here. And they may just go for a full on assault and maybe divert somebody over here to handle him. Uh, they may have the horsepower to do this. So we'll see and see if they can push coalition out of Quattro Bra and they can start and they can get the get the victory points. So that's the end of that turn. So thanks for listening. When we come back um, we will see what the French do. Are they going to try and sneak around the flanks, maybe trap Wellington, or just go for the head-on assault. So thanks for listening. See you at the next turn.